Hey everybody, today we are talking speakers for your golf cart. I'm Ryan Balangi. Thanks for tuning in today for another review here at Golf News Net. Great to have you here with us. We have done some reviews of speakers in the past, either on our website or on this YouTube channel, and there's always been a good response to them, particularly to other products. And so we've got another one for you in this space today, and it's a competitor to one you maybe uh, have watched on this channel before, which uh, this is the Precision Pro Ace Smart Speaker. And you might look at it, you might see the design of it and think, hey, that seems an awful lot like another product you've used before. And that's because it is. It is fundamentally in many ways the same as a competing speaker from Bushnell. Uh, and in some ways, it's different. And so I want to kind of compare and contrast the two devices for you and, and try to give you an idea of which one is the best for you, uh, either because of price point or quality or both. So Precision Pro, if you're not aware of them, they make direct-to-consumer, and they do sell in some green grass stuff, but mostly direct-to-consumer uh, laser range finders, distance measuring devices, and they make this guy. And they do a really good job with the products that they make. They, they sell them at reasonable prices. Uh, they're very easy to access. Uh, you might see them from a lot of different influencers uh, on golf YouTube channels or Instagram pages or TikTok. And they're very active in that space trying to connect with a younger consumer. So this naturally kind of fits that group, playing music on the golf course. I like playing music on the golf course. Don't always do, but when I do, I enjoy it. And uh, I like to use a speaker like this when I ride in a cart. Uh, and I like to use a speaker like this for a couple of different reasons. One, it has a big fat magnet on the back of it. So it's really easy to attach to one of the poles of your cart and you can kind of point directionally which way you want the music to go. Um, you can also use this as kind of a little bit of a caddy during the round because this device will pair with the Precision Pro Golf app, which then pairs over Bluetooth and utilizes GPS in its app and tells the course that you figure out the course that you're playing. And then it tells the device from the app where you are on the golf course. And it displays it here on this nice little uh, LCD style display. And you can see it when you turn it on. Precision Pro. And it talks to you too. And that's a really nice piece of it as well because you can see with this guy right here, this is a remote control. And you can carry this remote control in your pocket and you can go to your golf ball and you can press the remote right at it and it will give you the, the center, back, and front distances to greens. It'll also give you distances to select hazards if you wish for that. And it'll give you layups. And you can use the Precision Pro Golf app to be able to kind of be like a caddy of sorts. So they have a function called My Slope. Won't get into it too much because you don't want to look at a screen, but basically you tell it the makeup of your bag, the clubs that you have, and it can make recommendations to you based on where you are on the golf course GPS wise. It'll take your current coordinates, where the target is, and make slope adjusted calculations for you that are, rec that are custom recommendations. I think that's a really neat feature. You can also use it on some of their other products too, but since we're speaking about this specifically, that's, that's what I'm referring to. But you can also get that for other devices too, which is really interesting. Pairing is really easy, uh, just like any Bluetooth device. You get this thing on, uh, you can go ahead and pair it. You pair it with your phone, doesn't matter whether it's Apple or Android. Very easy to do, very easy to set up. I would say that using the My Precision Pro app or the Precision Pro app uh, for your device to kind of get everything set up does take a little bit of time. So you can't just roll into the golf course and use this and start using the Precision Pro app to give you distances and kind of be like your caddy. Take your time to do that ahead of time. Make sure you pair your device with that app. You create an account, you fill out your bag, all that good stuff. Get that ready to go before you play so you're not fumbling around the first tee or the first hole or two and all of a sudden you're not having fun because you're worrying about trying to get this guy set up. Don't do that. Do it ahead of time. Um, the, the functions and buttons on this are really easy. You can see there are three here on the side. You've got up and down, which is up and down for volume. You've got a play button right here. You're gonna control a lot of stuff from your phone as well, whether you use Spotify or some other service as your playlist. You're gonna control the music basically through that, and then you're gonna control volume and just simple play based off of this. I will say the difference, and it's kind of obvious if you can see this compared to maybe a Bushnell model. This is a little bit different in that the audio doesn't come out kind of more toward 360. Not that the Bushnell does it 360, it does it kind of 270, 200 degrees, but there's 
nothing on the sides that plays music. So you have to kind of pick the direction in which you want it to play to get the most out of it. Uh, typically, I w if I were sitting in a cart, I'd have it like this pointed toward me with all the display out. Some people might put it to the side because they're most likely to sidle up to it and press the button if they want to get the, the caddy measurements or what have you, or they want to hear the music to the side. But then if you do it that way, you have to think about which way you come up on the ball because not everyone does that the same way. Some people prefer it if you're righty to be on the right side of the ball where you put the card. Some people prefer it on the left, get out, walk around. Then you got to deal with lefties. So if I were you, and I know this is a very pedantic thing to say, but I would put it facing you as the driver in the cart and go from there. The audio quality of this is pretty good. I mean, it's, it's not uh, like Bose quality, but it does the job. And you can tell it's coming through a speaker that's not costing you thousands of dollars because it doesn't cost you thousands of dollars. However, for the utility that you get for this, the, the nice that being able to have a solid unit that you could put on with a very easy to use uh, magnet feature, you've got a nice little display here that'll give you distances and it's not just voice only. Some people don't, don't like that about the Bushnell product that it is voice only. Some people like the display, so that's a difference uh, maybe a precision pro column if you're thinking about it and then it's also to be able to kind of scroll through the different measurements uh, on the golf course and that's also nice to be able to do and, and i think for the utility of trying to play music while you play golf if you want a really nice speaker then get a really really nice speaker do that don't worry about the distance measurement piece of it don't need to worry about that worry about the quality of your music if that's the case i have a friend of mine who has an enormous like milwaukee construction worksite speaker he puts in the back of carts we ride in sometimes the sound quality is incredible you could hear from 20 holes over if you had to but how often are you going to use that quality of music are you going to need that kind of quality of speaker not that often you're going to play at a respectful volume you're going to play it so you can hear it maybe three four feet away from you maybe 10 feet away from you and you're not going to need the highest quality speaker in the world. So that's okay. It is easy to recharge. There's a USB port down here. It's just like most every phone these days, the USB-C. So it's very similar to what you see for advanced Android phones these days. Uh, you even see it on Apple products as well. So regardless of which charger you have, you can use it. Also, it comes with a cord. So it comes in a nice little knapsack like this. You can carry it around. It comes with a cord. Obviously, a lot of carts these days have USB cords in them, so you can plug it right in, which is really nice. Keep it charged all the way through, so you don't really have to keep it charged before the round. But, of course, I always recommend doing that because you never quite know when you run into a golf course that is or isn't going to have the charging port. And if it doesn't have it and this thing dies on you, well, you might be a little sad for the last few holes that you play around. Price-wise, really reasonable. Right now, it came out about $150. Bucks. Right now, it's $130 if you go on their website. That's pretty easy to get. They have them in stock. We'll send them to you. Uh, it's available in this color, so you're not, you know, it's not like you can personalize a whole ton of colors. You can't with other products anyway, so don't think about that piece of it. It'll come to you pretty quickly. It came to me quickly. It came to me in this very nice little box here. Nice fancy packaging. None of that really means anything at the end of the day. But came looking good. It works well. I will say the other thing to note about this, just as a user of it, two things. Um, one, again, make sure you have everything ready to go in Precision Pro on the app ready beforehand. And also turning this off, you may get confused the first time you do it. It did to me because you press this button and you hold it in what feels like an interminable amount of time, like five, six seconds, and then you let it go and it turns off. Uh, otherwise, you may drain the battery unwittingly, so make sure you pay attention to that. But holds the charge well. It plays music well enough. It gives you the distances that you might be needing if you're interested in this particular category. And it does all that in a pretty solid package for a reasonable price. Uh, this is a good space to kind of be in. There are only a couple of different choices. You make the one that works for you, uh, but either way, I think you're gonna come out pretty happy with what you get. Leave us some thoughts in the comments section. Let us know if you listen to music on the golf course, if you want these things to be banned for all eternity. Guess what, they're not gonna be, so get used to it. But I hope you do enjoy music on the golf course. You have so many more options than ever before, and they can really help you I have a better experience on the golf course. So hopefully, whether it's this option or another, uh, you're having fun out there regardless. Thanks for watching. I'm Ryan Balangie. We'll see you next time.